In the iOS 16, Apple has introduced a couple of new SwiftUI components, like GridView, ShareSheet, GougeView, and the new layout protocol. It is going to be a small series here on my channel. I will be covering all of them in the future videos. In this video, I would like to talk about the GridView, which is a container that has a two-dimensional layout similar to a table-like structure, and it is arranging its child views into rows and columns. Okay, we already could create a scrollable multi-column layouts using a lazy vGrid or just the vStack and the hStack combined. So what's the difference here? The grid view behaves more like a typical table. Let's create a very simple one. The grid here is a container view that holds other views and arranges them into a layout. Grid row is a horizontal container that holds other views and each view is a column. The grid row behaves like a collection of hStack instances wrapped into a vStack. But the grid handles rows and columns creation as a single operation, which applies alignment and spacing to cells, rather than first to rows and then column of unrelated rows. So we know upfront the size of each column. Let's change this one and add a rectangle with fixed size. As you can see, the whole column has now a new width. You can try to create a similar view using vStack and hStack. Because both of those hStacks are independent and not connected with each other, it does not behave like a column. Okay, let's create a new grid and I will show you a couple of interesting features that the grid has to offer. This is a grid that I will be using in my next video, so stay tuned. Let's remove this and let's add a simple grid. Add some padding. We cannot see anything, so let's add background. And maybe a corner radius. We can also add the spacer here, so it will be pushed to the top. Add a new row. Let's add some horizontal and vertical spacing so it will look a little better. Now we can add a second row with a score and time. Okay, it looks good. Now I would like to add a button to mark it as a favorite. Let's add it on top, create a grid row and add a button. Because in this grid row there's only one element, it is being positioned to the left side and assigned to the first column. I think that it would look a little better when the button would be assigned to the right side. Let's try to do this. First, we can tell the grid row to span to specified number of columns. Now this grid row act as a one big cell. Button is centered. My first idea would be to use spacer to push it, but unfortunately it works a little different than I thought. Each time you specify the grid cell columns and add more elements to the grid row, it will still try to create a separate columns. So as you can see, this one is being treated as a column. Let's comment this out and add a text here. What is happening now is that each element has its own column, although spacer here is also pushing it vertically up and down. Let's remove it and use a special modifier, grid cell anchor. It will specify a custom alignment anchor and align our view. Oh, 
Okay, this is better, but not great. Button is aligned all the way up to the right. It would look better center around the last column. Luckily, there is a modifier grid, cell, and size axis that will help. Let's remove the grid cell columns and the grid cell anchor. What we can do is to add an empty element to each column. One of the tricks that is usually used in SwiftUI to add an empty view is to add just a clear color. Color by default will try to expand on all axes. So it took the whole horizontal space here, and that's what we want, but also took the whole vertical space. That's why we will add the grid cell and size axis modifier. What it does is it prevents a flexible view from taking more space on the specified axis. Now our button is in the middle. We can add additional color here, but let's add a label to the left column. I would like to know if this game is live. Let's add a text that will present it. And that's it, we have a simple card created using the new grid view. I just quickly went through the new grid view. There is much more options and use cases. I encourage you to check the documentation to find out more. That's all what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.